Police say on that USB was a video showing McKenzie placing a camera inside a bathroom where a young girl could be seen walking in and undressing. Police say the drive also had more images of young girls between the ages of 3 and 12 years old. According to a criminal complaint, police say McKenzie admit he'd been looking at child pornography since 2014. Everybody, John Van Dyke here, New Jersey Exposed. Today is Tuesday, March 8th, 2022. Time is 12.43 p.m. Jersey time. Man, we had a lot of stories to cover today. I think this will be the last one for today anyway. Uh, this comes out of Pennsylvania. And we got another uh, cop who has uh, taste buds for child porn. This is reported on ABC27.com. And this came out on March 2nd, 2022, and it reads as follows. Pennsylvania State Police Corporal arrested for child pornography. Well, once again, there he is. Take a good look at him. He's sitting home downloading child porn, greasing Weezer, getting his nut off. This really is, uh, you know, rape. Raping women, violence on women used to be the number one go-to thing, but... Uh, I've uh, since changed my position on that after all the stories I've done. That it is now uh, child porn is the number one uh, go-to thing for these uh, creepy cops. And I think the reason being is for them to go out and rape women, it's too risky. Uh, and they can't control the situation as well as they'd like to. So with child porn, they can go online with a computer. Probably try to get some kind of thing on there so to hide their... Uh, their uh, what do they call it, ISP number, uh, address, so they can get on there and try to g download the porn. And we all know that these cops, these bad cops, probably most of the cops, all have sexual urges that are out of control. They, they act on impulses. They don't know how to control their uh, sexual urges. The little brain is in control. The little head, the penis, is at the helm steering the ship. Let's find out. Pennsylvania State Police Corporal arrested for child pornography. All right, this is out of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And the way, I'm going to tell you something. The way I found the story, people, was uh, I didn't uh, Google. I was at work, had a little downtime. So I, I was just Googling around to see what come up on the comp their computer. And one of the things I, I Googled was officer charged child pornography. And this one came up. It did not come up on the officer charged, officer arrested type of thing. So, what I'm telling you people out there, if you want to know some of the crap going on, be more specific with your searches. Officer arrested for rape, officer, police officer arrested for child pornography, officer arrested for drunk driving, things like that. And you're more likely to get the story. So, I'm glad I did it because I really want to get all these, these rape stories and these child pornography stories with cops out there so everybody can see it. Because I'm not following this copaganda crap all of that the bootlickers are throwing there. That it's just a few bad apples. It's more than a few bad apples. Every day of the week, there's a story being put out about a cop hurting, getting arrested, raping, child molestation, drunk driving, child pornography. You name it, the list is long. Every day in America, across America, there is an officer, a police officer being arrested. So this is not a isolated incident. There's anything other than an isolated incident. Crap anymore. So if you encounter any bootlickers out there to tell you that, tell them to go F themselves. It's bullshit. It's not. It's of epidemic proportion. The Pennsylvania State Police arrested Sean McKenzie, a Pennsylvania State Police Corporal, on Tuesday for various charges relating to child pornography. McKenzie, assigned to Troop T, New Stanton, has been suspended without pay. That's not good. He's, he's done. He's out. Without pay, pending a resolution of the criminal charges against him. McKenzie enlisted the state police in June 2008 and graduated as a member of the 127th Cadet Class. I wonder how many awards he has. The, fellow, the following felony charges are filed by the... Pennsylvania State Police Southwest Computer Crime Task Force in District Court 10-3-10 in Westmoreland County. All right, let's find out what he was arrested for. Sexual abuse of children, photographing, videotaping, depicting on computer, or filming sexual acts. So 
<coughs> maybe he'll tell you more of the story. So I'm reading into this that he uh, recorded children or somebody sent him recordings of it. Sexual abuse of children. Sexual abuse of... Uh, Oh, let me see. Sexual abuse of children, child pornography, 21 counts. So he had 21 pictures or videos. Sexual abuse of children, dissemination of photographs, videotapes, computer depiction, and films. Criminal use of communication facility, two counts. So he's doing something at work. Mackenzie was arraigned before mag magisterial district judge Rebecca Tybersky. And bail was set, wow, $500,000. This boy isn't going anywhere. According to court documents, McKenzie was taken to the Westmoreland County Prison and was unable to post bail. So then I guess they're not even going to give him 10%. He's got to post the whole thing. A uh, preliminary hearing has been tentatively set for March 9th, 2022 at 10 a.m. at the Magisterial District Court. McKenzie official picture was provided by the state police and mugshot was not immediately made available. All right, when was this date on this? Let's see, March 2nd. I wonder if there's more out there on it, but. All right, bootlickers. There you go. Another one of your heroes. Look at that. Another one of your bad apples. He likes child porn. He's sitting home, greasing Weezer, looking at child porn. Isn't that right, officer? Is that what you're doing? You're one in your watch? Grease and Weezer, spanking a monkey. Is that what you're doing to child porn? All the free porn out there, free legal porn that you can get. You can watch wet cams for free. Don't cost you anything. You won't get any trouble. But you couldn't do that, right, officer? You had to go look at kids. And by the way, where's the where's the outspoken law enforcement agencies that don't like this? You know, all you cops out there keep saying, we're not all like this, we're not all like this. Well, yeah, well, where's the outrage from law enforcement community? You know, mom's aware with them. They don't say nothing. They're afraid to say it. They're all a bunch of wussies. They're afraid to say anything about it. Now, one cop will come on my on my channel and say you know what i'm a cop i don't like this and if i knew an officer like that i would turn him in a heartbeat but you're never going to hear it people you're never going to hear it because there's three kinds of cops there's the bad cop there's the good cop that does nothing and what's the other cop i know what the other cop is well, you got the good cop. Well, you got the good cop that does something about, but they're not a cop anymore. So, yeah, three kinds of cops. Well, one's not really a cop anymore because when he says something or she says something, they get pushed out of the gang. I'm John Van Dyke for New Jersey Exposed. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Till next time, people.